Hey guys, Trader DC here, coming at you with another video. Pretty much everyone is expecting that we're going to get new Mega Evolutions in Pokemon Legends Z to A. The big question is, how many new Mega Evolutions are we going to get, and what Pokemon are going to get new Mega Evolutions? I've said in prior videos that I think we're going to get 15 to 20 brand new Mega Evolutions in this game, just based on the amount of new Pokemon that we got in Pokemon Legends Arceus. We had 26 brand new Pokemon slash forms in Legends Arceus, so I'm thinking we'll get 20 Megas in this game, about 5 to 8 brand new Pokemon, and then, you know, new forms for Zygarde as well. So around the same thing, like 26, 27, 28 new Pokemon slash forms. But what I wanted to discuss today is what Pokemon could potentially get Mega Evolutions in Pokemon Legends Z to A. This is going to be a series of videos where we take a look at different generations to see what Pokemon from each gen could get a new Mega Evolution. And today we're going to look at Generation 6. So Generation 6, obviously, Obviously were Pokemon X and Y. Those were the games that launched the generation. And I would argue that Kalos Pokemon have the highest likelihood out of any generation to get Megas in this game. If I had to guess, I would say we get 8 to 10 brand new Mega Evolutions for Kalos just because this is the Kalos remake. These are the games that are going to be highlighting that region. So as we go through the Pokedex for Kalos, I think it's a lock that Chestnut, Delphox, and Greninja all get Mega Evolutions. They're the starter Pokemon for Kalos they are going to get something and I think it just makes sense that we are going to see them get Mega Evolutions in this game. I can see Mega Chestnut becoming a very bulky defensive Pokemon maybe gaining some shields on his arms to protect him and defend him. Delphox I would think would probably be a special attacker maybe get into that witch theme a little bit and for Greninja I'm imagining some sort of speedy offensive threat. Next up we have Diggersby and I'm going to be honest with you guys I do not think Diggersby is going to get a Mega Evolution we have Talon Flame next. Talon Flame, I feel like, is a lock for a Mega Evolution or close to a lock. I feel like it's highly likely we're going to see a Mega Talon Flame because I feel like it's a very popular Pokemon in the Kalos region. And honestly, when you start off X and Y for the first time, the first Pokemon you see in that opening scene is Fletchling. So I think it's likely to see Talon Flame get a Mega Evolution. And also, too, little callback to that scene in the Legends Z to A trailer where we see a Fletchling flying around Lumio City in the Prism Tower. Next up, we have Vivalon, which I'm going to be real. I do not think Vivalon will get a Mega Evolution. I just feel like it has enough already as it is with the different patterns you can get for the Pokemon. And I don't think they're going to want to have a Mega Evolution and try to work with the patterns into the Mega Evolution. I don't think they're going to go down that route. We have Pyroar, and I could see Pyroar getting a Mega Evolution. I don't think it's a lock, but I definitely think it's plausible. Same thing goes for Florges and Gogoat. I could see both of them getting Mega Evolutions as well. I think Gogoat maybe a little bit more than Florges because Gogo just seems to me it screams like I could picture a Mega Gogo. Then we have Pangoro, which I kind of don't think is going to get a Mega Evolution. I think it's possible, but I feel like Pangoro is going to be left alone. We have Furfru and Meowstic next, and I think that both of these Pokemon will not get Mega Evolutions. For Furfru specifically, I think there's no chance because of, again, it has a lot of forms, different hairstyles as it is already. I don't think they're then going to try to translate that into Mega Evolution as well. Meowstic may be a little bit more likely than Furfur, but I still don't see it. Then we have Aegislash, and honestly, I'm very torn on a Mega Aegislash, because I feel like Aegislash is definitely a very popular Pokemon from Generation 6. I personally love Aegislash. It's probably my favorite Steel type ever. The thing is, though, is it has Stance Change, so would they then make a Mega Aegislash that gets rid of Stance Change as its ability, or would they have a Mega Aegislash that sticks with the general concept that Aegislash has a defensive form and an offensive form. That's why I'm not sure if they'll touch a Mega Aegislash, but I definitely think it's something they might toy with given that Aegislash is a very popular Pokemon. Next up, we have Aromatizzy and Slurpuff. Those two were X and Y exclusives respectively. I kind of don't think they're going to get Mega Evolutions. It is possible, but I don't really see it happening. Mega Malamar, on the other hand, I feel like is a Pokemon that I can definitely see getting a Mega Evolution in this game. I feel like Malamar just in general is rather popular and I could see it happening. I could see Game Freak giving it a Mega Evolution. Next we have Barbarical. I don't think Barbarical is going to get a Mega Evolution but Dragalge and Clawitzer on the other hand is another story. I think that both of these Pokemon they go hand in hand so if Clawitzer gets a Mega that means Dragalge will get a Mega. Will they do it? I feel like Clawitzer I could definitely see getting a Mega Evolution but like I said if he's getting one that means that Dragalge is going to 
to get one as well then we have heliolisk heliolisk i feel like game freak will give it a mega evolution and i really hope that they don't because i feel like heliolisk from the day it was introduced felt like a mid-stage evolution it needs a proper third stage i don't want them to give it a mega i wanted to get a cross-gen evolution in this game next up is tyrantrum and auroras and i feel like for both these pokemon the same thing that applies to Cloritzer and dragalje if one gets it then both gets it and i could see them both getting it i don't know if they're the most likely pokemon to get megas in this game but i could definitely see it happening as for sylveon i really don't think they're going to give a mega evolution to an evolution i just think they're going to try to stay away from that i mean they could because this was the first fairy type pokemon ever it would be rather strange to see a mega sylveon but then no mega jolteon flareon vaporeon etc as for holucha i actually feel like holucha could get a mega evolution i think it could be honestly one of the better mega evolution designs honestly every mega evolution design is fantastic but i definitely think that could be one that stands out carbic and dedene are next i do not think they're going to get mega evolutions in all honesty i really don't see it as for gudra i'm a little torn on this one because i would have said definitely gudra would get a mega when we returned to Kalos, but gudra got a hasuian form last generation that doesn't make it impossible for it to get a mega but i feel like maybe they'd want to give the spotlight on another pokemon but then again they've done you know a paradox salamence and a mega salamence so who knows clef key i don't think it's gonna get a mega i feel like that pokemon has a specific use and it's for when it uses prankster as its ability and i don't see it getting a mega as for trevenant and gorgeist i kind of feel like again if one gets a mega then both get a mega but for me i feel like it's more likely we see a mega trevenant than a mega gorgeist but again i feel like those two are tied so closely together to be fair when i say this too that they're tied so closely together they're slow king and they're slow bro slow bro got a mega slow king did not get a mega we also had galade and gardevoir gardevoir got a mega in one game galade got one in the other so they have done it before where pairs of pokemon one gets a mega and one doesn't get a mega or one gets a mega and one gets a mega later so who knows but i do think trevenant is a bit more likely than gorgeist i feel like avalog i could definitely see game free giving it a mega evolution i don't know how likely it is but i could see it happening on the other hand for noivern i feel like this is one of the more likely pokemon to get a mega in legend z to a i don't know why i could just picture a mega noivern just being announced one of the trailers and i would not be shocked at all now we get to the legendaries for kalos and i feel like xerneas and evotol are a lock to get something whether that's a mega evolution a primal form or something else entirely who knows but i did make a video recently discussing why i do think it's actually likely that xerneas and evotol do get primal forms over anything else and i'll leave a card above to that video as for zygarde i do not see zygarde getting a mega just because of the way it works as it is already with all of its different forms and whatnot diancy already has one so obviously we'll exclude that hoopa i don't think is going to get a mega evolution because it has you know its unbound form and bounded form i feel like that's its gimmick it, they're not going to throw a mega in there as well last up we have volcanion honestly i feel like volcanion is one of the more likely pokemon in generation 6 to get a mega in this game and the reason i say that is because volcanion always felt like a weird mythical to me because he was kind of just thrown into sun and moon at the end because the you know later kalos games that were supposed to come out in 2015 were canceled in pokemon x2 and y2 or whatever they were going to be called and i felt like he just kind of got forgotten about and i feel like there's more to volcanion than we discovered and that's why i think it's going to get a mega evolution and that's the entirety of the kalos pokedex the entirety of the generation 6 pokemon and who i think will and won't get a mega evolution anyways let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about all of this do you guys agree with my list or do you think i made some wrong choices here let me know who you think will get a mega evolution from kalos from the sixth generation in pokemon legend z to a if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more content like this from trainer dc and let me know if you want to see me go through the rest of the regions the rest of the generations to see what pokemon could and couldn't get mega evolutions in pokemon legend z to a thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time